Hey guys, and welcome back to the Lagoon. Uh, so today for you, I do have these um, booster pack boxes of unbroken bonds. Each box comes with three booster packs. Um, wound up picking these at, finding these at Walmart. I guess is a new thing that Walmart is getting. I don't know if it's anywhere else. I just happened to see a bunch of them at Walmart. Um, so I wound up picking up two of them, get six packs of unbroken bonds. Um, so before we get started, though, uh, as always, uh, if you are enjoying the show and enjoying the videos, please leave a like. It does help uh, support the channel. Um, if you want to keep up on the action and join join us in the lagoon, uh, subscribe to the channel as well. It, it uh, really helps out. We do appreciate all the love and support. Um, so without further ado, let's get into these packs. Uh, so let's set one box to the side here. And they've got them kind of like wrapped up in it seems to be like a foil wrap or something. Let me get my handy dandy scissors here so we can get into these. There we go. Okay, yeah, see they kind of open from the side here, so. And there they are. So we got three unbroken bond uh, packs in each box. So actually, I'm actually going to open up both of these. Just so that we have the packs out of the box already. Um, but yeah, so so far I've been... I've actually never really opened any of the unbroken bond packs. Um, again, this was around the time when I kind of didn't really like stopped collecting I stopped collecting it uh, at certain points like I was on and off with Pokemon cards um, but with that we were able to find some of these I was excited to get the get back into some of these uh, older packs um, just because some of the cards I missed out on you know I know the secret the rainbow rare um, Charizard Reshiram card is pretty uh, a pretty big pull if you can get it um, but we got six of them, so we're going to try our luck with these. Maybe we can get some tag team cards. Um, so let's get into this first pack right here. Alright, so there's the code for you guys. So as always, I do give out the codes. I don't really keep them just because I don't play the online TCG um, so let's uh, think it's one two three to the back so, all right so we got that nice water energy there and we're gonna start off this pack with a charge bug uh, oh god this name uh, Puyakumuku I'm, I'm assuming but this is like the little knit yarn version of it it's like a little sea urchin or something <clears throat> oh, Tokatik, I like that. A slowpoke, splashing around in the fountain, enjoying himself. Had a ball, just look at him. Look at that, so happy. We could all be that way, you know, just carefree like that. A Litten, we got a Sandrew, a Murkrow, an Oddish, a Reverse Hollow Cottony with that big fairy um, uh element right there. I like that. That's very nice. And then for the final card... Ooh! I'm liking that already. Off with a nice decent uh, full art print of a Blastoise GX card. Really nice. I like that. Really, really nice. Very nice card. We'll place him over there. I will sleeve all these cards um, at a later time. So let's get off to the next pack. So already one decent hit out of this box. I think out of one of these boxes. Um, I don't know if that's what the algorithm is or if they just shove random boxes or random packs into these um, uh, boxes. I'm not 100% sure what's the deal with them. It's very strange that they're coming in like preset boxes and not like the typical three where you can visibly see the three packs and then like come with a little coin. It's very strange how they package it, this kind of product. Um, so there's the code for you guys. 
three to the front. It's going to be that nice electric energy. And we're going to start this one off with the Metapod. A Fero. A Graveler. A Bellsprout. A Ghastly. So far, every Pokemon is like from Gen 1. Okay, there we go. The Carvana. A Togepi. Oh, hiding in the backpack. I like that. An Esper, which looks like it just well, woke from a nap underneath a tree. A Reverse Hollow Caterpie. I like the art on that. It's really cute. And the, oh, there we go. Got ourselves an Ultra Beast already. That's cool. I don't even know what that name is. Takata, Takata, I believe. I have no idea. But this is a hollow foil Ultra Beast, so pretty cool. Not bad. Let's see. Let's what does the writing say there. If it'll focus, it appears from an Ultra Wormhole. Each one appears to be made up of many life forms stacked on top of one each other. I'd say it looks like a bunch of Unos, but like, or excuse me, it looks like a bunch of uh, unknowns, but in cube form and not the lettering form. Um. Pretty cool, though. I like the design of the foil. It's pretty cool. All right, let's get into the third pack. So far, this is pretty good with these packs. You're getting a foil. Uh, I've gotten two nice foil card, foil rares in the back. A full art and a standard uh, regular foil. So that's pretty good. Alright, so there's the Unbroken Bonds. Uh, code for you guys for this pack. And the energy is going to be the fire energy there. Alright. Alright, so we got ourselves a Weeping Bell. Looks like he's oozing some kind of poison or something. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, got Eradicate. Another Fero. A Squirtle. Look how big that Squirtle looks. He's so chubby. Rhyhorn. A Ratatat, basically like screaming at someone to get away from his berries that he's got there. Goldeen. A Diglett. Excuse me, a Lowland Diglett. A Chip Chip Ice Axe. What a name for Reverse Hollow. For an item, and oh, wow, good lord, got a rainbow rare Celestilia, which is an ultra beast. Wow, I'm digging that. That's that's in wow, this box was loaded. The box was loaded. Look at that, that's so nice. I like the texturized pattern, it looks like a a hexagon pattern going on there. Really, really nice card. That's very cool. Wow. Man, that, that was a stacked box of two full arts and a hollow foil. One was a rainbow, rainbow rare. Wow. That was a pretty good box. Alright, so this is, the, I believe, the second box that it was consisting of these three packs of these unbroken bonds. No tag teams yet. Um, which... Quite all right, you know. It's no big deal. <clears throat> all right. There's the code for you guys. It's going to be a fairy energy. All right, so we're going to start it off with another Puyukamuka. I don't even know. Another Tokatik. A Fairy Charm, a Tangula, a Venonet, another Screaming Ratatat, another Goldeen, a Dormaka, or a Duramaka, I believe that's how you say it, a Reverse Hollow Litten, I like that, that's pretty nice, and a Miss Magius, non Hollow Hollow Foil, well, that's kind of a downer pack, but I mean... Yeah, I mean that, that other those other three packs were freaking loaded. That box was loaded with cards. 
I mean, hell, we got like two hits out of that entire box. Two mate, two big hits, you know, with the full arts and the secret rainbow rare. Like, it's pretty good. Alright. There's the code for you guys. And the energy gonna be a dark energy all right so we're gonna start this one off with an energy spinner a ride on with team rocket leader back there Giovanni it's kind of cool we got a greens exploration whatever that means a ghastly Another Tangula, a Venonet, another Screaming Redditat, a Goldeen, a Reverse Hollow Samson Oak. Okay, I like that. That's kind of cool. I've not gotten that card ever. That's really cool. And a Stunk Fisk, who's so happy that he's just vibing over there while these two Gumias over here are just like panicking like crazy. They're going, oh my god. And he's just vibing, you know? He's just vibing. Is that a rare? No, it's not. Okay. So, okay, this box so far is kind of a dud on the hits, I guess you could say. So, we're done with the last pack of these Unbroken Bonds. Um, I'll probably try to get more of these, these boxes, because, I mean, it's seeming to me like they're coming back out with some of these Unbroken Bond packs. Uh, but now they're just, have, they're just loading them up in, like, three packs. Uh, in those random boxes. I found mine at Target. I don't know if they're elsewhere. They could be. I am not 100% sure. Eh. Open. Jeez. Alright. So, last pack. Let's get into it. Last code. There you guys go. I don't know if that shadow is affecting it, but there you go. <clears throat> And for the last energy, let's go ahead and guess it. I'm guessing green. Uh, well, it was psychic, so I'm not psychic. So let's get on with this last pack. <clears throat> We're going to start it off with a Weeping Bell. A Fero. A Charge of Bug. A Squirtle. Tentacle with a ninja trainer. I like that. That's kind of cool. An Aaron or Iron or yeah, whatever you want to call him. Shantru rolling in the dirt. A Ghastly. A re Reverse Hollow Sand Dial. I like that. A little clay one. That's cute. And a Dugon non hollow foil. So that's very interesting. So for one box, we got all like major hollow foil hits and then for the other box with three packs we got nothing that's very interesting how one box was loaded and the other wasn't i don't know if that's something to do with the box or what i'm not 100 percent sure what's going on um but yeah so like you said from the first box literally all three packs had some sort of big you know hit you know or hollow foil rare at the end you know, like the first pack we pulled, we got the Blastoise GX there. We got the second one, then we got the Staccata Cata. Um, Hollow Foil Ultra Beast, and then we got the Rainbow Rare Ultra Beast Celestilia Rainbow Rare. So, I mean, it's three big hits. Can't really complain. Um, I'm going to look up the value real quick to see what the value is on these. <clears throat> So bear with me. I'm going to go to Don Glare to kind of see what kind of prices we're looking at for some of these. See if we got some hit major hits to value-wise of what these cards are. Uh, this is Sun and Moon Unbroken Bonds. So let's see. Yeah, let's see. Do -do -do -do. Hmm. 
<laughs> okay. So that Rainbow Rare Celestial is, wor is worth about five bucks, so that's pretty cool. You know, worth five bucks, it's kind of a hit in that aspect. Uh, let's see, I think the Blastoise is worth three, so there's another hit there, so that was pretty good. And uh, I believe, I believe that's all they have. Yeah, that's all they're showing. So even the Ultra Beast, that other uh, Reverse Hollow Ultra Beast is not showing up. It's probably worth like two bucks, if anything. So if anything, that one box paid for itself, um, just alone with the Blastoise and the Rainbow Rare card. Definitely some cool ones to add to the collection there. Um, but yeah, I hope to probably get some more of, the, of those boxes in the future. I'll probably try to hit up there before they are all gone because when I went to my local Walmart they were just I guess they must have just got a shipment in so they were fully loaded with them um, and I just happened to only grab two at the time um, so I'll probably try to grab some more uh, for future videos um, but yeah so that's going to do it for this video if you enjoyed the show leave a like if you want to join the lagoon uh, subscribe to the channel it does help we do appreciate all the love and support and hope to see you guys around the, the lagoon sometime. Have a good one, guys.